Yeah, I'm Cyril Martin, the stadium manager at Imperial Wanderers Stadium, also the compliance officer for Central Hunting Lions. Yeah, with the advent of uh, the pandemic, COVID-19, uh, obviously there was a, a need to, to make changes in the way we do things. Um, we went into lockdown level 5, alert level 5, which meant that uh, only certain or few of us were allowed onto the stadium. Uh, being the off-season, uh, we normally would do most of our maintenance work so between March and August, we will be doing most of our maintenance work. Uh, that has to be put on hold and only the essential services, for example, uh, plumbing, uh, geysers, etc., and those things, those things we could uh, get involved in. Then also from, um, we also had to get the staff to come on site, those who were essential, uh, especially in the case of our ground staff. Uh, during the first month, it was only the head groundsman that came in. Obviously, in his case, he had to keep the grass alive by watering it every day. And then, subsequent to that, he then uh, escalated to uh, three other staff members to help him with the uh, pre-season uh, maintenance work, which is obviously very important uh, when it comes to delivering excellent uh, pitches during the season. Uh, your preparation work, your maintenance work, is more important than actually preparing a pitch. So that was what we did. We also, from a um, from an operational point of view, uh, we had to write uh, do risk assessments, uh, just in terms of a risk assessment for Central Houting Lions. Um, we had to, I had to write the operational plan uh, in terms of what happens from the time you enter the stadium. For example, you arrive at the stadium. You, your temperature is taken, the screening takes place, your temperature is taken, um, your uh, assessments, the, the questions that we would normally would ask. Uh, and in our case, it was very important, although we would only become active in alert level one, uh, it was essential for us to get involved already from alert level four, uh, purely because we have essential other essential services on site. For example, we have the Wanderer Sports Medical Center. So there were obviously doctors and physios who needed to see their patients. And for that, it was important that uh, we had to have our um, uh, risk assessment in place. Um, and then also for those, we treated it very much like we would treat a supermarket, uh, sorry, not a supermarket, a um, shopping center where uh, we took care, we take care of the general uh, common areas and each tenant had to present me with uh, their assessment and the uh, site operating procedure in terms of cleaning etc etc. Um, we had to do, make some changes uh, to the way we do things in the office area for example. We uh, adhere to the safe distancing, wipe sanitization, uh, we've also uh, established um, an isolation room, so in the event that there's any uh, infected person, uh, we've gone, we'll go through that. Uh, also, um, create an awareness at this stage with our cleaning cleaners, uh, cleaning company, as to what the protocols are, because I think they are very essential to, to uh, keeping people safe as well, besides each individual looking after himself. But there are common areas that we need to um, pay attention to. Uh, then also the security guys, all those of us who are in the front line, uh, I've had a, a briefing with all of them, wherein I, uh, I did the, the uh, induction with, with those parties. Um, also what is new to most people is the fact that there is a definite protocol when you come into the stadium, there's enough signage to say uh, you must be screened, the security guards are screening you um, and there is this where you actually um, whether your player the CEO uh, the stadium manager does not matter who you are in this place you first go to the your first port of call will be to the screening area where your temperature and your um, those questions are being asked okay.